Hey guys, this is going to be a complete guide to getting to this screen and also how to use the Google Ad Planner to find some juicy keywords for Redbubble. I've talked about this a lot recently, but a lot of people are saying that they don't know how to get to this screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a fresh AdWords account using uh, one of my emails. This account currently does not have a Google AdWord account. So what I suggest you do is you log in to Google on the email that you want to use, and then you just go on to Google Ads. Let's change the language because I'm in Italy to English. And then let's click on sign in. So new Google Ads account, click here. It should already create the account because you're logged in here, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to go down here to switch to expert mode. And then all you have to do is at the bottom, okay, so you just ignore all of these things. Create an account without a campaign at the bottom. This is where you need to put your uh, billing and your business information in. So let's just press uh, yes here and then just press submit. Oh, we're actually done already. Okay, so at this point, I'm fairly certain you can just Google AdWords keyword planner. And then because you already have an account, just th these two are ads, okay? So just ignore these two. This is a Google ad for Google. Hmm. That seems like a bit of a conflict of interest, but whatever. Are we still logged in here? Yes, we are still logged in. So if we click here, this should just work. Okay, I'm not logged in for some reason. I don't know how that's possible. So just press log in at the top right here and then bang, run the keyword planner, okay? So there are a few things we can do here. I personally like to click on discover new keywords. If you're in a different country, make sure that you change the language to English and make sure you change or add some different English speaking countries like the US, the UK, um, Australia. This will just give you the best idea of how much traffic you can expect if you nail one of these keywords. English speaking countries, go. Canada, did I already do Canada? I don't know, whatever, save. Okay, so now you can literally just search for quite generic things like funny shirts, funny stickers, um, sarcastic shirts, graphic shirts. So one of the best thing about key, this particular keyword tool in comparison to other keyword tools, actually there's two advantages. Number one is the, the data is 100% accurate. So a lot of these tools, they just make up numbers. Ahrefs is very, very guilty of just making up numbers. The second advantage of this tool is that the semantic relationship between words is much better. So for example, I search for sar sarcastic shirts and what it's gonna actually do is give me examples of sarcastic shirts, okay? So first thing you wanna do is you wanna drag this keyword by relevance up a bit. You can zoom in, you don't have to zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in just because uh, I kind of have to, otherwise you guys can't see anything. So, personally what I like to do is I like to click on three month change, okay? The reason I like to do that it's just because it's gonna give um, trending keywords. But when I say trending keywords, you have to remember that oftentimes a keyword is trending and then it also becomes evergreen, okay? Especially if people are buying the t-shirt. So let's say, let, let me show you an example of uh, what I mean. Let's have a look here. Okay, so here's just an example. So I actually changed the keywords I was using to funny shirt, sarcastic shirt, shirt slogan, I should say, shirt slogan, shirt quotes and shirt saying. And I actually found a, a lot of good results here, okay? So you can, see, I'm on three month change and this means that the, the, the graph is shaped like this. So there's no interest, no interest, no interest, no interest. And then suddenly there's interest. So this is the kind of keyword that we're talking about. But you've got to remember that just because it's trending now doesn't mean it's not going to be trending in the future. I actually don't know who Harriet Tubman is. I feel like I should know who that is. 
Uh, I don't know who that is. I'm, I'm bad, I should have known that. Uh, so let's go on here. 1,202 results. Very, very, very interesting. I knew that she was something to feminism, but I couldn't remember exactly who she was. I'll read, it. I'll read about it after, guys, I promise. I like to be informed. But yeah, that's just one example. So, yes, it's a trending keyword, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be trending next week or in a year's time. It just means that currently it's trending, okay? So, for me, this is a particularly interesting keyword because it has a lot of potential of making a sale now, getting in the rankings, and then being evergreen for God knows how long. Okay. So actually another thing that you can use this tool for, another really, really interesting thing is looking for your red bubble niche. So again, you could leave this on three month change. No problem with that. Okay. And you can just scroll through and you can look for things that maybe you wouldn't have thought of. Okay. So let's just have a little look here. So if wine shirt sayings, that could be a good niche. Let's have a look. Vodka t-shirt quotes. Funny mom. <laughs> okay, let's actually search it by um, average monthly searches. So these are the things that have the most searches. Okay. So first of all, sarcastic shirts would be a great niche. I wonder if that Red Bull name is taken. Probably, right? Should be. Interesting. Wait, can you even have a dash in your name? Maybe you can't. Oh. They don't even have any products. Can you just give me your Redbubble store, please? Whoever you are. So yeah, that, that would be a really, really good niche. I might have a look at that niche, to be honest with you. I think there's an argument here for if you can somehow, like, if you just do something with a one after it. For example, I don't know if you can even use a one in the Redbubble name. I don't know, you could maybe somehow change this around a little bit and get the keyword sarcastic shirts. And then maybe you could just in your bio, which this person doesn't even have a bio, I don't think. No. Oh, I could connect to their Tumblr and maybe ask if they'll just give me their Redbubble account for science. Um, yeah, that'd be a really good niche. But look at these niches. So funny mom, mom shirts, 10,000 a month, okay? And that's just for this exact keyword, okay? Funny workout shirts, obviously these are quite obvious ones. Pregnancy shirts, I've talked about this so many times about how I think pregnancy is a huge, huge niche and has a lot of potential, okay? So I wonder, I, this is a live test guys, I haven't done this before. I wonder what happens if we search for fun, funny pregnancy shirts, whether it'll give us the keywords or not. Let's have a look. Hmm. You can see that the niche is incredibly popular, but that's it's not giving us uh, not giving us the keywords, unfortunately. I wonder if there's a way to get them. That's such a such a good niche. For me, this is evergreen because there are going to be people who are going to be getting pregnant at Thanksgiving every year, right? And that's a thousand monthly searches. Really, super, super interesting. I'm pregnant, sure. Yeah, I wonder how many, <laughs> I wonder how many results that has. It's got a thousand searches a month though, so that's pretty interesting. Surely it's got like a hundred thousand results. Oh, only three thousand six hundred. Interesting. Yeah, these are the kind of keywords we're looking for. So I want to try something else while I'm here. So I'm going to write promoted to grandma. I reckon this might give us some keyword. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Interesting. So this could be another way to find keywords actually using this. Um, let's try that again, wait. I'm pregnant shirt. So taking the actual keyword that we would use and searching it, does that work? Okay, so just looking through other people's, this is super, super interesting. I wanna search for this on Redbubble. So this has a hundred, maximum 100 searches every month, okay. 2,400 results on Redbubble, okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I reckon this is a really, really good way to find thinking about it. I've been thinking about how to find keywords using this for a long time. And hmm. oh, I'm not the stepfather, I'm the father that stepped up. Okay. <laughs> Let's put this on best selling. Okay, so we're gonna combine two methods here. So made in the 90s, classic. I wonder how many searches that has every month. Probably like 100,000, I don't know, 1,000. Yeah, so made in the 90s, T's. These are big right now, look at that, 900% year on year. Let's have a look where Redbubble is. Redbubble is organic spot number one. Only 3,395 results. And yeah, okay, there are quite a lot of exact uh, phrase matches here, so it'd be quite hard to compete for that keyword, but I still think that's a really, really nice keyword. Player three has entered the game, yes. This will give us some keywords for sure, for sure. I honestly think it'd be worth making a made in the 1920s, made in the 1950s shirt over and over and over. Third player has entered the game. So this is a super, super interesting way to use this tool as well, okay? So player three has entered the game. Third player has entered the game. These are two different designs, okay? And it gives you the opportunity to appear on two different distinct search result pages. Let me show you what I mean. If I go on Redbubble and search for this keyword, Third player has entered the game, 17 results. Okay, so first of all, that's super interesting. And then if I search for this, it has only 689 results. This is one of the best selling shirts in, in the pregnancy niche. It has 1,000 searches every month. Maximum 1,000 searches every month. That's pretty nuts. That's really not that many keywords, uh, not that many results at all. I think I made this keyword ages ago. This is a bestseller. Wow. I think I have this on. I think I gave people this keyword. I really hope that this was one of my viewers because that would make me feel really, really happy. Gender Dragon. Oh, wait. Actually, I just saw something. Look at these. Player 4 has entered the game. Another 1,000. Oh, come on. Don't do me like this, Red Bull. How many results have you got? 442, are you kidding me? Player 6 has entered the game. Like, people have a lot of kids. <laughs> Only 100, but still, up to 100. I reckon there are, like, no results on this. 57. <laughs> That's hilarious. This tool is so good for semantically linked things. Let's go back to the pregnancy page, because this was giving some really, really good results. So yeah, just look for a niche, put, put it by best selling or just use your niche and then start to see on Google AdWords which are worth making and then whichever are worth, <laughs> whichever are worth making, um, you can tell by AdWords. Okay, so let's check this. This looks like a really nice sticker. <laughs> Huge financial burden on board. <laughs> That is absolutely hilarious. 1,000. Up to 1,000, I should keep saying. Up to 1,000 searches. Redbubble is not on the first page. F you. F you, Redbubble. You have bad, bad SEO. Where is the page? What is going on? How many results does it have? Only 15. Okay, so look, there are only 15 results here, and none of them. Maybe all of these are no index. Wait. Surely not. Nah, it's not. Okay. Oh, no, I wrote it wrong. Wait. Nah, it's not no index. Okay. Uh, so there are only 15 results here, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's possible that your design could be the one that appears here for Redbubble. Because currently, Redbubble is not on the first page. Okay. At least in Italy. Remember, in the US it will be different, etc., etc. But in Italy, Redbubble is not on the first page. So maybe if you make this design, because there are only 15 results for a keyword that has up to, 
if you add all of these together as well, you've got to remember, you've got to add them all together, it'll have at least, I would say, 200 searches every month, okay? That's huge, guys. That's really, really huge. So let's just try a couple more things. I want to see what happens if we... Oh, that's awful. What's wrong with people? Anyone that's made one of these designs, F you, honestly. Just F you. You're as bad as the people who make YouTube videos. Clickbait and him. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about that. Okay, so this is just an example, guys. Nothing to do with politics. Please don't cancel me or anything. I'm just... Uh, I'm just uh, exploring the niche, okay, because I, I, why, what is going on? Oh, you can't advertise for certain keywords. You can't advertise for this keyword. That's super interesting, actually. Okay, let's go, let's do it by best selling again. I just want to know how many searches a month this kind of thing has, honestly. No additional suggestion. Yeah, they're just not. They're not letting us go into this niche, whatever. Let's just go away from this niche then. Okay, let's combine one more method here. So I'm just gonna write random letters here until I find a nice niche to look at. This is probably a huge one, but it's probably got like a million results. Is this also not gonna be allowed to be, okay, you can advertise on this. Wow, huge. How many? Yeah, 3.6 thousand. Nah, it's, it's not going to work. Anything from uh, this, any direct, um, any direct keywords from here will be really, really, uh, what's it called? Oversaturated. But that doesn't mean that we can't find keywords from these keywords, okay? It just means that uh, the particular keywords that we're looking at are going to be very, very, very... Like, look, hello summer pineapple, exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Again, for some reason, I don't know what this keyword is, but <laughs> they've all got 100 searches every month. So what we can do is we can, instead of doing watermelon, we can check out lemon, okay? And we see only 574 results, and that's just super interesting to me. What happens if I write hello here? <laughs> okay, never mind. Summer pineapple, summer watermelon, Fruit, fruit, summer, no, never mind, forget that. <laughs> Let's try a couple more of these. I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I can't read out this keyword. I'm just curious how many searches a month it has. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's trending. It's probably a really good keyword, but it's just, it's in a, it's in a niche that, I don't really want to talk about on YouTube. Um, mistakes are proof you are trying. Wow, so deep. Oh wait, let, let's just quickly check if there are any more keywords here. Nope, ice cream, but that's not really a keyword. Well, it is, but <laughs> not a very good one for us. Interesting, up to 100 searches every month. Only 300 results, that's pretty good. We can get a piece of that pie. I'm not sure what happens. No. <laughs> United, we stand by them. <laughs> no, I just said a word that's probably going to get me demonetized. No. Yeah, you can't advertise for that keyword. That's hilarious. Again, not condoning the keyword or anything. I'm just, I'm just looking at the keywords, guys, please. Just... I'm an SEO, I don't care what the keyword is. Regulate your what? Regulate your chicken. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Zero to 10 results. I don't know what that means, but I want that shirt. <laughs> oh, I've just seen what the actual keyword is. No, you can't search for it. You, you can't, you can't ad, advertise for these keywords. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you should be able to advertise for anything, otherwise, isn't that like, I don't know, freedom of speech or something? I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we're gonna look at is, I'm gonna again search for the pregnancy niche, but it can be any niche. I just I just think the 
pregnancy niche is one of the best, okay? And I'm gonna click on random keywords at the top here, and then I'm gonna click here, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we've so you've ruined your life. That's an absolutely fantastic keyword. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a Simpsons thing. <laughs> that is so funny. I love the Simpsons. I absolutely love the Simpsons. It's not a food baby. Great keyword again. Sorry guys, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit sick today, so. Apparently there's no keyword there, which is a little bit strange, but okay. Auntie 2023 loading. Auntie loading, hmm. Intra. Huh? I thought they would be bigger keywords, honestly, but apparently not. Pregasaurus Rex, oh my God, that is hilarious. Pregasaurus. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my God, what? Huge keyword. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. How many results does this have? Please have under 2,000. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I think that was a really, really good video. I showed you how to set up AdWords and I showed you how to milk milk it for, for all it's worth. Completely free tool. You don't even need a billing method anymore. Maybe you do in some countries. I'm not sure. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. I'll probably be streaming later today. Peace out.